Hey everybody, how everybody's doing today? Hope everybody's having a great, wonderful day or had a great, wonderful day. We're in the shop today, which means we're bringing you a how-to video for sure. Definitely. I am actually going to be doing this how-to video myself because Jeff still, he's getting better and he's actually slotted to go back to work soon. Yep. So, light duty, but... It's... Hope, hope, yeah. <clears throat> Hopefully going back. Should be, shouldn't be a problem. Should be able to handle it. Um, I'm Hopefully. Cross my fingers. Yes, so, but we're still taking it easy on him because he still can't do a lot with his arm. So I get the pleasure of working with 10 snips, which I hate, but you know, it's gotta get done. Today we are... We are making little hay feeders for our rabbits because your rabbits really have about 70 to 80% of their diet should be a hay. And then the other 10 to 30, 20 to 30% should be your pellets, your greens, you know, fruit, vegetable, you know, all the other kind of stuff. We're trying to knock down as much as the pellet form, which, I mean, that gives them all their big protein and everything. But if you've been pricing rabbit feed lately, Right. It is not going down any cheaper. So we are in the process, and those are upcoming videos, of kind of changing up the way we have our rabbits. Thanks to some other YouTube friends, we are going to have a colony. And we've already talked about some rabbit tractors, and we're in the process of building our new rabbit shelter. All that's coming in the future. But when all is said and done, we will always have at some point some rabbits in cages and so these hay feeders are for any of you out there that do have your rabbits in cages and it's going to work with the rabbit tractors as well yeah and i'm kind of making it to go the sizing and stuff i've done is mainly two because you know i use that one inch by two inch welded wire as the side parts of their cage and so uh this kind of has been fitted to go into that. Formatted for that, which is also what we're using on our rabbit tractors. So this will work on the cages and the rabbit tractors as well. And if you happen to have any of those big, you know, 275 or so gallon water totes that I've showed you, and you know, you, you pull off the little metal, piece piece. Of metal that's on the front, and I'm like, I could probably use that for something. He found a use. I found a pretty good use. So, oh. in the effort for us, is we're always trying to use everything we can, recycle and upcycle. We are upcycling those metal plates into hay feeders, and we're going to show you how we do that. And we should get four feeders out of one piece of metal. So leftover piece of metal that you have like this or if you've got any kind of this thin stuff that's easy to do i use something to make a straight edge with tape measure drill marker a pair of any type of tin snips that you have these seem to look like they're gonna work pretty good um it's a like a metal bending plier pliers or something pick these up at harbor freight clearance I know they were probably less than $10, so that's probably one, you don't need them. You can try to bend it all, you know, I mean, that, that metal's not very thick. You can do it with some pliers or uh, bending it over the edge of a bench or anything like that, but those seem to have worked well for me with other bending metal product projects, so they should probably work too. A pair of pliers, some wire to attach it to the cage. Pencil, a hammer if you want to tap around a little bit. And that's about the tools you'll need. So it's not big major tools. I said the only kind of tool you may not probably have around is maybe one of these little bending tools. Um, but it is pretty handy to be able to, to grip onto stuff and, and bend the little thin metal than putting it in your vise. You know, because if you have a vise, you can do the same thing with that. So, so let's get started. All right. Okay, so I took, this is like an old folder that was long enough I needed. And so you're basically just going to cut this shape out. And it's 
So you kind of measure your top if you're wanting to make a pattern. I kind of did it this way. I did 13 and three quarter across the top and five and three quarter along the bottom. And then these lines represent, that's what you're gonna fold this over to make it go as like an angle. And I made the top part to be about four inches. This is about, this is four inches across from the two lines that you'll make. And then you'll have five and three quarter, which will fit in between, you know, like six of those little one inch spots down there. Uh, because I'll show you, we'll drill a little hole in each corner up here. That way you can just attach a piece of wire. And then down here, we're going to make two little, like little slits in the metal to where it can tuck under the wire, but we'll show you that later. And so this template will get us four hay feeders out of this one of piece of metal. The metal. And it works out pretty good because on these sheets, and I think on most of them, they're all kind of curled over rounded. So that you don't have to worry about that part being sharp for when you're putting hay into, because this will be the top parts. And you won't have to worry about cutting yourself on that metal. I will let Jeff draw the templates because, well, he can do that. Because I can actually do something. Woohoo! <laughs> so on these, I have it a little bit. The corner kind of goes. So see how that's not a, a complete corner? So you can just kind of go over just a hair a bit like so. And you can, you know, mark it out that way. It won't affect the design. That way you know what to cut there. And then you can just line your other point up on this one. Right with it. And see it sticks out a little bit, but it'll still be all right. And then you just do the same, of course, on the bottom. And you're doing it that way so that this curved piece always stays the top. And that way, flipping it back this way, that's your top so that you don't tend to cut yourself sticking hay into the feeders. So, I'll let Chana have fun with the clippers. Ugh. This is going to take a while. Yeah. One thing that you can also do, especially when she gets to this part, um, use kind of like your work surface to kind of press down on your tin snips so that you don't have to try to grip the whole thing. So what I would do is, is probably put your piece over here to where you could get to a point to where you can put the bottom of this on here if you can yeah that way when you start to go in take you a good size bite so you're getting most of the leverage there you go and then you can just push down to get through that real tough part <coughs> see doesn't how, make me like them anymore yeah well but see how hard that was if you tried to grip it with your hand cutting through, it might be a little more difficult. And of course, always, probably should be wearing gloves because, you know, uh, like I said, this edge isn't going to be sharp, but this edge here will be a little sharp. So, that's just a rinse and repeat. Let's show you the next step. What Shana will want to do now, take your, like if you've got a square or triangle, you know, framing square. So what I was doing was, you know, my, my square's got this little lip on it. You can put it right along the top to get it, get it flat, and then bring to when you get to this point, bring the edge of your, of your square down here to that point and then just make it a line 
and then do that on the other side on the other point. Now, what I found out easier was, is to drill your two little holes. And you can drill them anywhere within probably about an inch. You know, say if you went an inch down, an inch over, three quarters of an inch. You just need something to... Just drill two holes in this approximate area. Yeah, just right there in the top. So that you don't mess up like your table and easier to cut, just put your like piece of scrap wood underneath there and that way you can just you know put your hole and drill right into the board it also make the other side of the metal a little smoother so now you can take it and put it either in your vise or you can use these little pliers and and bend your your deals um, you may have to take your other pliers or the little hammer. Yeah, so, so you just get it just about where you need it. And press your, put your pliers down on the ground like so. And then take your other hand and just bend it up. Because that first one's going to be a little bit tough bend. I'm going to bend the pliers. Because I can't. Ugh. This is going to take me all day. There you go. Get your little bent. There you go. And then take to the other side. Just line up the front along on your, on your line. Like so-ish. Yep. <laughs> And then either bend that up or or you can even um, have it flat and bend it that direction or bend it up against something. So voila. Uh. And then you can kind of at that point you can kind of hand shape it just to the right bit. Just make sure you watch those edges because they will be sharp. But see, now you have your top is all nice and smooth and won't cut you. The next thing is just use this edge as one line. Use that edge as another line. Come out maybe half an inch to three quarters of an inch. Make your little mark. Do the same on the other side. Just a little slit. Come up about three quarters of an inch roughly. And then just cut along that line, cut that little line, cut that line, and then cut that line. And this becomes a little tab to hook into the bottom of the cage, rabbit cage. Well, yeah, go to the other side. Now, you'll have some little messed up pieces, so take your pliers, pull pull your little tab up a little bit. There you go. Other side. And then kind of re-straighten down your little, your little corners that will meet up. Now watch out for those points. Those will be little sharp little points. Just cut those off. Could. Kind of straighten up this tab a little bit. He's a great pointer. I am. Ask Stephen at work. I said we just cut them off. Well, you can. Now take your little pliers. And line it right along the bottom of that big main tab there, if you can. Oh, no, I'm cutting these off. I'm going to cut myself. Cut them off. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Make sure that when you use tin snips, don't put your finger 
in between like this. Always keep your fingers in the holes. Don't ever put them in here. It wasn't. It was like this though. Yeah. She did it on purpose to show y'all how it's really done. Yes, yes. That's exactly it. And then just put it in here and give it a little bit. Kind of hold it down flat. And just give it just a little bit of a bend going down. Just, just That way? Yeah, go, just go down. Okay, well, that's good. Yeah, just, like I said, just a curve because that'll help when it goes up against something. It, it pulls it away from the bottom of the cage just a hair bit so that these tabs can go in real well. Uh, if you've got a little bit of wire laying around, just cut you, you know, three or four inches or something like that. They go on the outside. A little longer. There you go. Now, make you a couple of little bends in that at the end. About a plier width, in a sense. I can't. Yeah, just bend it around a little bit. There you go. That way we can stick it in the hole. So, you want to kind of stick that piece in the hole and what I do is is then bend that to where it goes just straight and voila quick easy real cheap hay feeder I think you got to pay like ten dollars or so in the store for them so we're going to go put this in, on one of the cages and let you see what it looks like when it's all hooked up. Here. Let's go to the cages. So anyway, have your little wires poking out straight. You can put the little tabs down there on the bottom of the, on the cage like so. Where's that wire poking? And then have these two wires go up above so that you kind of catch. You have those little tabs there, and you got your little wires here that you can just bend a little bit around. But you want to put your little tabs down here on the bottom first. So just bend your little tabs back over the wire. You can kind of curl that little tab. You're just mainly wanting to get it there to, yeah, there you go. To catch right there on the bottom, and then you can take your little piece of wire here that you got and and bend it around to where it's flush up against there. The other side as well. That's all it is to it. That way you got those little tabs down there at the bottom and just curls back around the, the two ends there. And by bending this a little bit, you know, it helps get it up there against the cage. And like I said, this, these two little pieces of wire looped around to where you can easily take it off if you need to. They work out pretty good. You just... Throw a little hay in there. It's normally a pretty good handful to handful and a half when you're normally doing it. These are our baby girls that are going in a tractor. So, easy peasy. Quick, easy how to on how to upcycle the, the tin that comes off the IBC totes. I am going to get to work on cutting the rest of these out and putting them on the rest of the rabbit cages so everybody has a good hay feeder. The problem right now is you give them hay and a lot of it just falls through the bottom. So this is going to help contain it a little bit because yeah. I'm tired of wasting hay. Yeah, because uh, for the point, you know, because like I said, those, you know, you can get those little hay racks and stuff like that. They're about, I think they start out around $10. I'm not really sure. But a lot of them are like a coated wire. The problem I, I didn't like about getting those was that you know the hay can fall through the back and it just falls on the ground this way it's all kind of enclosed it all slides down to them they still waste a little but not but not as, as much. much 
and you know they make them where they're all full metal like this too but like I said when I'm looking at the metal that you got laying around your house, if you've got it. Why not? Or if you know somebody that's got a tote and they've just got that piece of metal on the front of their tote and they're like, oh, well, I'm not using Go see if you can grab that piece of metal. I mean, why every, not? every little bit helps, especially uh, if you've checked any of the prices out lately. So, yep. works out good. You know, it's a lot better than just throwing it inside their cage because then they really waste a lot because it just falls through the bottom of their cage. So. So stay tuned for more updates on rabbits. We've got a lot going on with them. It, I'm just waiting for him to heal a little more so we can get the other stuff done. But yeah. just know that we do have a lot going on with rabbits coming up soon. Until next time, y'all have a fantastic and wonderful day. And we will see you later. Have a great one. And thanks again for coming along. And can't wait to see y'all until next time. Later.